Hello. I thought that, hey, uh, what are you doing? Just, oh no, it won't let me just talk. Uh, okay, it's better now. So, uh, just, I was searching Google to fix my problem, then I found the solution and decided to share it with you. I remember that in software reviews playlist, I shared some things so you could fix the bugs that you get. Uh, though exactly I don't remember the bugs that I showed the way to be like uh, their fixing way but well you know the bugs that I get these bugs are terrible bugs that you cannot find anywhere else now let's see what's this one um, so basically the thing is that some months ago I saw that I have or eight keyboard languages like English United States and uh, English German English I don't know a, a lot of English keyboard languages then I said no hey, what are you doing like and uh, for some months I did not find any way to fix the issue and I was like typing and I was going back and forth between eight languages to be able to switch to English and Persian. So um, the thing that happened was today I was searching and I said hey did you search for any like ways to fix the issue then? No I didn't so let's do it. I searched and found a way and it fixed it for like less than a second. Let's see what we need to have. We need to have a Windows PowerShell, which let me decrease this one a bit. Okay. I will type Windows PowerShell in Start menu. Windows PowerShell. I'll press Enter. Here we go. I put a code for you so. You don't need to do anything, you just need to go to the description and get the code copied and paste it into the PowerShell. Thanks to the person who put the code, I found it in one, uh, one of the forums of Microsoft. Uh, so I will go to edit submenu of PowerShell by pressing Alt space and finding edit submenu. Then I will press the right arrow once. Then I will go up and down to find paste. I will paste the code. Okay. Uh, so here, what we have is that uh, I set English and Farsi as a default. I've just put the Unicode. For example, if we look at the code, so it first gets the language list of the user, then it will set the language to what we say. So let me see. Set when user language list, then after this. We have space e n e n e n u s comma and f a. Uh, for example, if I want to set the Deutsch language, I will press, I mean, type a comma after f a and will type space d e for example and a y at the end and the. Uh, next line. Let's see how we will perform. I'll paste and press enter. Ouch, we, we did not have DE actually. Uh, uh, let's try English UK. N dash UK. Do we have such a thing? Uh, come on. Let me try TR as Turkish. 
So you see, we have Turkey. <laughs> so, imagine that I have English, Persian and Turkish and I want to remove the Turkish thing. I will paste the code, we'll find TR and we'll remove it. We have en us comma space fa comma space tr i will remove the last comma space tr so we will have en us comma fa we'll cut the code we'll paste it into the powershell and we'll press enter we have version english version english we did it. 